Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have done my pantry makeover and it's finally complete. So I have some background footage to show you guys. It had those ugly wire racks in there before. I don't know if you guys know, but I literally hate those things. Like <laughs> you can't sit a bottle of water on them because the water just sits over and nothing just sits on them neatly. So you'll see some before of how the pantry looked and I cannot wait to show you the now. So anyway, if you want to see how my pantry turned out and why I'm like so crazily in love with it, then please keep watching. So here is the almost like before of my pantry. Um, I want to show you guys, see, it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty big in here. Um, it kind of wraps around to an L and even more over here. So I'm going to do some built-ins here and then like a little rack here that I can hang like the broom and stuff on and just make more use of this space and like up here too because the ceilings down here downstairs are like I think nine foot ceilings so it's a lot taller in there and I just feel like it's like empty space so I'm gonna be painting in there the same color that's in here So yes, yes, yes to my pantry. Like, guys, do you see this? Do you see the transformation I did? Like, <laughs> I am so proud of myself with the design, um, the everything I did to prep the wall space. I'm gonna go through everything for you guys and show you everything in detail, but I just literally sit back here and open this door every day and I'm like, I love it. It's so, so beautiful. So, I'll actually go ahead and start with this right side. Um, this is a rack that I decided, of course, to put in here just to have hooks on it to hang up the broom and the mop and just aprons. I just wanted everything off of the floor. My trash can is now outside in a better spot than in the pantry looking all nasty with the food. Behind the door, I have my stepladder here, which is helping me to get those baskets that are up at the top. But prepping this wall space and everything was definitely worth it. Um, just having everything smoothed out and doing the paint really, really good. I love the color, the grayish color anyway. Um, those of you who know I'm from Insta, I've told you this color is Edgecomber Gray Benjamin Moore. So it's like my favorite neutral grayish color. Um, so we'll start here at the bottom. So starting down here, we have my produce and I just put everything here. I actually had tangerines in there, but they were going bad. <laughs> so I had to throw those out from the tour that I did on IG. But I have my potatoes here, my apples, lemons, banana, and we also like tangerines or clementines, but I usually put those there too. But I actually love these little containers. Um, they're actually stackable. Oh, that one's so heavy, I can't even move it. <laughs> So they're stackable, you can see it here, um, and they just sit in there and they're literally perfect for all of your uh, produce. So I'm in love, love with them. And then the next shelf here, we have my breakfast and miscellaneous um, in these baskets. I have lots of breakfast because Jordan and I love, love breakfast. So have all of our oatmeal. Um, grits, we got a head of grits and <laughs> oatmeal, regular oats, we have cream of wheat, some pancake mix, and there's pop tarts back there too. And the miscellaneous here, I decided to put in here just my sandwich bags. Um, there's aluminum foil and miscellaneous bags, sandwich bags there too. 
these cute little bins oh my gosh guys I'm in love with these bins they're baskets of course but they're like a really durable material and I put all of my breads in here so I have hamburger buns hot dog buns regular bread and then we have bagels over here so it's just a nice way to display your bread and actually see what you have that's the purpose of this whole pantry is just being able to have everything out and seeing what you have So this next shelf is like one of my favorites, which is why I put it here. It's all of my oils, uh, spices, and of course more vinegars and oils as well. And what I did, I actually got these containers from Home Goods, and then I actually wrote on here this script writing. I found a script that I font that I liked and I just mimicked it on here with some glass pins. I'll be sure to link them of course down below but I decided to write on here all the oils and vinegars that I don't use often. So like my olive oil and red wine vinegar is actually on my countertop but here are like I said the less used oils. My vegetable oil, rice vinegar, coconut oil. I have a white vinegar here, balsamic vinegar, and sesame oil. And then here, <laughs> um, I got this riser, it's not a riser, it's a freaking spice tiered spice rack. I actually got this from Amazon and I had these spice containers from an old spice rack. You know how you get those spice racks that come like on a little spindle? Well, I had some and they were like super old, but I really liked the black top of them. So I just kept using it and then I ordered these labels from Amazon. So really really in love with how that row turned out so as you can see here I have all of my pastas on this shelf and I just bounced it out by having like two larger ones like taller ones on the ends and having smaller ones um, in the middle and then up here at the top one of my favorite shelves it's a shelf full of cereal <laughs> Jordan and I absolutely love cereal so I have all the cereal here and these labels I actually got from the container store I will link them they are the home edit pantry labels they are so awesome and up here at the top um, all the way around those are my small appliances so I have like my little skillet I have a blender I have um, my panini maker and some other things just to hide them away and make them like not noticeable. Everything looks really, really neat up there. So love that top shelf too. So stepping back to this middle section here, um, you will see I have just some bins down here to hide things away that is for pet for my sweet little Sasha. And I have a backstock bin here that's for anything that's set out and there's extra of it, I just put it there. And also a chip bin, of course. The next shelf I am in love with is my wine shelf. I actually found these little wine racks. Um, I have reds here and then I have whites. And I found these from Target in like that $5 section up front. Um, these were $7 I think. They are so awesome. I have the cutest little marble cake stand here. I love marble. So the cake stand is awesome. And these are my wine glasses. You guys, I am in love with these glasses. So whenever you and the girls are drinking, get a little tipsy, you don't have to worry about this breaking because it doesn't break. <laughs> it's acrylic. Literally the best investment ever. So yeah, gotta have those. In this next shelf here, I have some of my cookbooks here, crock pot, magnolia table. Um, this is like volume one from Joanna Gaines and I have my Home Chef recipe book here. You guys know I love Home Chef, not even sponsored by Home Chef, but I love Home Chef. <laughs> and with quarantine, of course, I really started to like order more, but I kind of call this like my decorative area because I just have a nice cheese board here and then I decided to set out the plastic ware. So I have my knives, spoons, and forks. There's some measuring cups back there in the corner. And then I have some really nice plates here. These are also Joanna Gaines. And then we'll move over here. A nice little decorative green piece, greenery piece. Um, this really nice, nice um, utensil holder. I got that from at home. Some wooden utensils and just more decor back there. 
the next shelf is my syrups on this Lazy Susan. Lazy Susans are so freaking amazing because they allow you to just get to whatever you need to, just super easy. And gotta have some Mrs. Butterworts. I like Hungry Jack sometimes too, so I mean, hey, have it all. Um, I have all of my sugars and flour over here in these containers. I really, really love them. Um, I also put in here a little scoop inside there and just to be able to get things out nice and neatly. So my sugar, flour, we have powdered sugar here and brown sugar. Yummy. This next shelf is another pretty decorative one. I have some napkins sitting here. Um, just some more sauces, vinegar, marsala wine, another decorative piece here. And then I have my other items here, other sauces here, uh, malt vinegar. Um, and then this is Joanna's second edition, a second volume, sorry, of her Magnolia Table Cookbook. I actually like the first one better. I don't know, have you guys looked at them yet? Let me know which one you like. But also the home edit, guys, this book is so awesome. Um, you'll see it here, it gives so many good tips about being organized and how to set things up. They like to use the rainbow method, like where the colors are all kind of going like that. Um, I don't really like that, but <laughs> it's definitely still a great book to get for like organizational tips. And then I have some baskets up here for like baking. I have some grains there, crackers, and I think there's more snacks over here. And then this last section I am in love with, I have my paper towels up here at the top, just nice and neat. And then here is my water shelf. I have some, of course, bottled water here. We have some LaCroix and then some Pellegrino because I'm like obsessed with LaCroix lately. Um, specifically this peach pear flavor. Um, if you guys like LaCroix, let me know any other flavors, but I'm usually not a sparkling water fan, but for some reason those kind of grabbed my attention. I actually got them honestly for decor at first and then I drunk them and then I ended up having to buy more before I did this tour because I literally drunk them all. So those are really, really good. And then here, we're going down to the snacks. I absolutely love my little snack section here. Um, I have these. These guys are the Skinny Pop um, little salted caramel crisps. They are so, so good. Like, I kind of crumble them when I empty them in here, but they're delicious. I've already eaten some down from even like my first little showing of this. Um, we have some wheat thins in here, some cookies, and then some pretzels and Cheez-Its because who doesn't love Cheez-Its? Um, just have some cashews here, trail mix. Girl, you can't wait till the tour over. Girl, who said you could have macaroni? Girl. They won't even know. Girl. <laughs> uh, just get some Cheez-Its. You've been eating the Cheez-Its already. No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. I can tell the scoop. You've already done? No, the scoop is in the same place. Yeah, and I have a little bandit that's coming here during my um, tour to get the cheeses. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there were cheeses there. <laughs> so then we have nuts here, um, some more snacks, trail mix, more nuts here, and little treats, little indoors. Um, just to show you guys too, in case you're wondering about um, expiration dates. So, sorry, trying to get this lighting right. Um, expiration dates, I actually cut out little like sticky, I'll show you on the bottom of this one. Um, and I actually put the date, the ex expiration date here. You can also see that I actually got a lot of these from Home Goods, but I will link the ones from Container Store because just in case you can't find them in a Home Goods near you, then you can at least make sure they all match from Container Store. She is so loud in the background. Girl, hurry up and put my, my stuff back. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, good job, woo! Anyway. And then down here we have my little crackers, we have some chessman cookies, little Debbie snacks, and then some goldfish. So I absolutely love my little snack section here. It's like one of my favorite sections, probably because I'm in it a little too much. Yes. 
So coming down here, I have my little canned goods, and this is actually a um, soda can dispenser, but I decided to put my canned goods here. I don't have that many. I have my salsa and everything there, some macaroni and cheese, and then these containers I have tuna in because, I mean, I absolutely love these tuna packs. Jalapeno is my favorite along with hickory smoke. And then, I mean, let's be real. Everybody loves a 25 cent pack of noodles, right? Like, I love ramen, come on. Um, and then this bottom shelf, I just have three more baskets with rice, dinner kits, lots of dinner kits in there. We love Mexican. And I love minute rice, uh, it's the minute success rice. And then I have oats in here, which is really just my granola for my yogurt. And that is my pantry in a nutshell. Guys, I am so, so proud of myself with this makeover. It literally is my favorite, favorite room in the house. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's really a good thing or a bad thing, but I am in love with my new pantry. you guys really enjoyed this video it was so much fun to film I literally had such a great time like organizing my space making it my own I literally can see everything now I'm so so happy with how it turned out I just really love that thing like I don't even have a reason to go in there sometimes and I just find myself going in there and getting lost it's like a kid in a candy store and Lord knows I need to lay off the candy but I mean you got a pantry like that like why not go in there for no reason yeah basically anyway if you guys like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video my next project will either be my patio oasis or my beauty room so i haven't decided which one so you guys let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see and until then i will see you guys later bye